Well, despite its immense political power, and it does have immense power, the group Black Lives Matter isn't really much of a group. It's a relatively small, flimsy organization. In fact, it doesn't really have a legal existence of its own. Officially, the primary Black Lives Matter group is simply a project of another nonprofit called Thousand Currents. Now, why is this interesting? Well, it's interesting because the current vice chair of Thousand Currents is a woman called Susan Rosenberg. And she's a convicted terrorist who spent 16 years in federal prison before she was given a pardon by Bill Clinton on the very last day in office. Bernie Carrick remembers this well. He's the former police commissioner of New York City. But before that, he worked in New Jersey and he personally escorted Susan Rosenberg from the federal courthouse in Newark in 1985. He knows the story well. And we're happy to have him on tonight. Mr. Carrick, thank you for coming on. That picture is, is remarkable. So Susan yeah, Rosenberg. I had, I had hair then, Tucker. I had hair. <laughs> and an AR-15. So what, who, who is Susan Rosenberg? Why is it significant that she now, in effect, works for Black Lives Matter? Well, it, it, for me, uh, on a personal note, it, it's, uh, it's important for your viewers to know who she is because Black Lives Matter, as I've said, dating back to 2015, it's a revolutionary, revolutionary Marxist group. That's what it is. It's a group that wants to overthrow this government, the country. It's a group that its founders, its three founders, were inspired by a woman named Joanne Chesimard, who goes by an African name, Asada Shakur, who lives in exile in Cuba after she assassinated a New Jersey state trooper. She was involved in a number of bombings and executions of New York City cops, cops in San Francisco, and cops in New Jersey. Um, that's who they are. That's what they're about. And when I tried to explain that to people over the last two or three years, they didn't get it. Now, in the last few weeks, we learn Susan Rosenberg is one of their fundraising um, gurus, let's say. Well, Susan Rosenberg, in 1985, when you look at that photo, she was convicted of possessing hundreds of pounds of explosives. She was involved in the Brinks Nyack robbery, where two cops were killed yeah. and a security guard was killed. She was involved, her and her organization, the May 19th Communist Organization, they were involved in a number of police assassinations, bombings, the U.S. Capitol bombing, uh, the Naval War College bombing, and a number of others in, in the United States. She was a radical revolutionary, and she was let out of prison. She was commuted on the last day of President Clinton's um, term in office uh, after 16 years in prison. She was given 58 years in prison, um, and now she's out. Who does she work for? Black Lives Matter. I think, I, I think you know, we're missing something here. I think DOJ should be looking at Black Lives Matter as a terrorist group, as a terrorist organization, um, and, I, and I think, I, I find it astounding that all these U.S. firms, some 200 that you've you've chronicled uh, on your show, they're they're just pounding money into a group that's all about the overthrow of this government. And if you can't see it on its face by what they do normally on a daily basis, then you need to start looking at their associates, their inspirers, and the people around them, because this stuff has been going on since 1960, 70, in the early 80s. When these people, these revolutionaries, Marxist revolutionaries, wanted to overthrow this country. It's just amazing that all the rich ladies in Aspen and Greenwich think BLM is about ending racism, which obviously all of us are for, when in fact it's a revolutionary group. Maybe the U.S. government could take decisive action and by doing that, make it really clear that this is a terror organization. You know what, Tucker? Black Lives Matter was truly, uh, you know, working for black lives, they'd be marching tonight in Chicago exactly. or Baltimore exactly. or exactly Cleveland. Right. Or, and I can give you 20 other cities. No, I know. It's all and nonsense. It, it is. And it's having the opposite effect, needless to say. Bernie Carrick, thanks so much for that. Great to see you tonight. Thanks, Tucker. Well, the science is absolutely clear and it's not just.